Need a lift? Hold your army. You already know the army's not fighting the war. Please just send someone. I'm at 112 Chinatown. Hello? Shit, we need to get a squad ready, quick. Oh my god. Look at all this blood. Hey, shut up, Dave. Uh, yeah, we'll have your parents over for dinner tomorrow. Uh, yeah, the boys are just throwing me a party at the station for my retirement. Here. Do you see that? Go check it out. I'll wrap this up soon. Where'd it go? Dave? Sir, I'm gonna need to stop you right there. It's a goddamn laser axe massacre. Deputy Handsome, reporting for duty. Rough night, hey? Yeah. This isn't good, Rookie. I think we have to make the call. Oh god, Captain, are you sure about this? This man has been known to destroy full cities. He knows no meaning of the word surrender. This is the man that single-handedly got the Geneva Conventions abolished. I know, I know, but it's our only choice. Hello, this is Grendel? Grendel Daydream, from the Toronto Police Department. Oh yes, of course. We met at the governor's dinner last year. What do you need? Well, it seems as if a Russian spaceman has appeared in our humble town, and there's already six dead. There's been whispers lately of Russian efforts to create a super soldier rival or OX-808. Not really surprised those sneaky reds have already placed one of their operatives here. Don't worry, Chief. I got this one. Well, Doctor, we have a problem. It looks as if we have a foreign invasion afoot. I've got some bad news, sir. The ancient monolith started acting up again. Fuck. The ancient monolith? Yeah, we had it under control, but then it started acting up. <sighs> looks like those Russians have sent an operative to get our monolith. There's a special task force that I think will be help us be able to deal with the space men. So a while back, the FBI created a most wanted list. They asked us to eliminate them when we tried, but it was pretty tricky. So instead, we just started keeping tabs on them. Now we have lots of information, such as their strengths and weaknesses. We're going to need an expert negotiator to pull this off, so... 
Don't worry, Doctor. You're looking at the winner of the Green County Debate Championship, three years running. Great. We need a man of skill. Let's get going on this presentation, shall we? So first off, we have William Snake Eyes Floyd, the fastest gun in the Midwest. A killer. They call him Snake Eyes because when he was just a boy, his family didn't make it across the Oregon Trail, and he had to survive by eating snakes and drinking their blood. Very good. What else? A while back, we had a manslaughter case. A little boy's mother was hit by a garbage truck right in front of him. Ever since then, he's been avenging his mother by killing garbage men. He's nonverbal and only grunts. He travels the city through the sewer system, but mostly resides in the scrap. Excellent work, Doctor. I will leave it once. Keep your eyes on the monolith. Snakes, they bit me like my baby. Snakes, they rattle my bones. Oh, my baby, I want to see you. I only see great tones. It's been a while, Floyd. Your hat is orange. Mind if I take a seat? Remember the forest arm? How could I forget? Hey, these kids, man. They don't understand this face. I don't know what happened. I wish I didn't have to, Floyd. Goddamn fucking space off slaughtered my wife. Sorry to rope you back into this, Floyd. The force needs you. I ain't shot since the war, Orange. No hell, I'm going back. You don't have much of a choice, Floyd. The world's fate is at hand. You must have a place of operative here, or kill every single one of us who gets the chance. The Russians? <laughs> Just tell me where to shoot. Hey. A spaceman. Tell you what, since I'm an honorable man, I'll cut you a deal. We can do it. On ten, we fire. Seven, eight, nine, ten. For this? Not so fast. <laughs> Nothing yet. We may have to if you don't comply. <laughs> we need you to eliminate a threat by any means necessary.
Back at the base. Look at me an ice cream cake. 